AK with the red dot. What could be better than this? Uh, beautiful, beautiful fall morning and we are at the range. Uh, this is going to be awesome uh, video, I hope. Tons of questions. How to zero AK with uh, the red dot in 762 by 39 So there you go. We're not going to say uh, some strange things, you know, hey, uh, yeah, this is going to be look like that. No, I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly what happens when you zero AK from uh, 25 yards and how it performs down the range. Why 25 yards? Because everyone has, at least I hope, everyone has uh, more or less access to the 25 yards. So let's set that zero at 25 yards and then we're going to cycle through the tar targets from 100, 150, 250 and 300 yards and we'll see how that zero really works. I'm using standard 123 grain full metal jacket steel case ammo. So I think this is uh, the best ammo to demonstrate uh, on AK and how that z zero looks like it. All right, uh, let's uh, roll. Enough with the bullshit talk, safety goes down. Let me get the good position like you should. And I'm going to aim in the center of that standard US Army M40 target. Hey, that sun give me a little bit trouble my right eye. Let's see. Okay, you guys are seeing this already. Let's go and discuss the results and we'll go from there. Okay, so you see what's happening. Uh, if you will look at the whole group size, you want to be within the size of the circle. So if I'll take that, yeah, I'm perfectly within the size of the circle. I'm just a little bit to the right and maybe, maybe a little bit low. I don't know. I'm going to push a few like maybe one few few clicks left and I will leave the elevation. I will leave the elevation as it is. Uh, but this is a standard M4 size target. You can get them uh, off the internet for free, printed out, or, or if you want to be fancy, buy them on the, uh, from the Amazon and uh, get them. But you can use it and you see uh, I'm using this for a zero ink. It's an extremely simple target. 25 yards, what I'm looking for, my point of impact on that uh, red dot has to match point of aim. So I was aiming here and my shots went a little bit to the right. That's why I'm going to move uh, the few clicks left and we'll leave it. And then we'll cycle through the 100, 150, 250 and 300 uh, yards before the storm will hit us. So let's go back to the shooting platform. Adjustments are made. I'm ready to roll uh, for a hundred yards uh, target for you guys. I strongly advise take the time on that 25 yards zero. It will pay off down the range. For the purpose of the video, I did the adjustments. Don't want to bore you to death with uh, that 25 yards line. Let's start cycling through the targets down the range so we can see how that zero will work for us. Ola, are we ready with the 100 yards target? We are ready. All right, live TV, we are rolling. Our aim, right dead in the center. There is like a triangle painted there. All right, let me take a nice shot. Boom, all right. And let me adjust the spotting scope. There you go, guys. So we are almost in the center, but, but we are high. I will take exact measurements and I will give you the data on it so you can see how much higher exactly from the point of aim we are at. This is something to keep on the back of your head when uh, you're using that 25 yard zero. Remember, no, uh, you cannot do the adjustments on the fly uh, for the red dot. 
enough with the bullshit talk time to cycle through the targets of like that 150 yards so let's see what's going to happen i can see only half of the target from my vintage point uh and because it's covered behind the hill you should see the whole target hopefully in the target camera Ola, are we good with it yes all right i will aim close to the shoulder line so i can avoid that hill i'm going to lobby that round all right there we go and let me see the hit hit is right above the screws so again i'm going to paint for you the dot where i put dot uh red dot on the target from my vintage point from here when i'm looking at it it was right below the shoulder line that's where i'm getting that cut out from the ground and you can see we're still trending a little bit higher because the head is right that uh in like above the throat area on the target so we are still shooting a little bit higher but but it's starting to flatten out i think and it's going to be interesting how this is going to end at the 250 yards we have uh, this this like slight breeze is coming in uh, from my right side i'll push it a little bit slightly to the right but we are looking for the mainly for the elevation so let's make sure uh the elevate how's the elevation is going to look uh, on that uh, target when that round will land on it Ola, are we good with uh, the target yes, we she are. says we good with uh, the 250 yards target camera let's do this Okay, that's a hit. Let me see where the hit is. I cannot see it that far away with the naked eye. Awesome. All right. And as I said, I pushed slightly to the right because of that breeze. But look at the elevation, guys. I was aiming in the center of the target. And that round landed just below the center. So you see what's happening. We're starting to dip at the 250 yards still not bad still very good hit if you will have to deliver this is a really this is a good area of the the for the hit we are more or less still very close to the center line of the target i will take that hit all day long time to go to 300 and uh, see what we can do at 300. Ola, how are we doing with camera for 300? Let's she go. signals we are ready and that wind is picking up uh, we'll see how this is going to sort out let me let me see now i'm thinking i'll probably held that dot at the head because we're dipping already yep that's a hit let me check and look at that guys i was holding the dot at basically the way i can see the outline a little bit it's 300 yards that head is blending in especially in that light when the sun is putting the light on the white target but i was holding more or less on the neck level area and uh, see where we dipped we barely touched the target we are at maybe one inch two inches above the bottom screws so i'll probably will have to increase my hold let me put that straight on the head this time instead of like that cut out shoulders and the head uh Ola, are we, can we shoot one more time yes we can all right so let me know when you're ready i want to put that red dot a little bit higher now okay i'm ready okay she's ready let me let me see if i can deliver on that head yeah, I'm, I'm going to clear, uh, hold clearly on the head now. And the head <laughs> we slightly moved up. Not much. All right. So this is getting interesting. Like, not, not really that much. Let me push it one more. I'll push it higher. Ola, are we still good with camera? Yep. I'll hold on the tip of the head now. okay and look at that i think it's just my vintage point because now we hit it we hit at him in the throat 
Uh, let me push one more round. Well, are we good for one more round? Yes. Yeah, I just love to keep ringing that 300 yards target. Okay, that's a hit. And we are more or less, see I was again in the head and we are more or less now on the left side only because I got pushed. Uh, but you can see we are above the triangle and and that will be my holdover probably for a 300 yards so honestly with the 25 yards zero i will hold at 300 yards on the head level to make sure that my shots will fall within the center of the body of the mesh so let's recap quickly we started at 25 yards 25 yards point of impact equals a point of aim at 100 yards we are higher so you have to keep that on the back of your head at the 150 yards we are still higher from point of aim your point of impact will be higher but very manageable right that that difference starts shrinking a little bit 250 yards at 250 yards the point of aim was in the middle of the target we dipped below that line still not bad this is not really a drastic drop and at the 300 yards at 300 yards i strongly advise you to hold the uh that red dot uh, on the f6i target on the head area to make sure the shots will fall into the center of uh, the body of the mess so ola is it so simple you can do it <laughs> i don't know i have to try all right 300 yards Let's see what you can do. Aim at the head. That's a hit on the target. Good hit. So there you go. No bullshit. Clear demonstration. And you could see how this zero works uh, for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. As always, it's a pleasure to be with you guys. Bye. See you next video.